Hi, and welcome to the Waterloo Wellington Children's Groundwater Festival um, channel all about science in your kitchen. This morning we're going to do a simple science experiment, solids, liquids, and gases. You can find all the information on our website. Um, the Children's Groundwater Festival website is www.cgf.com or cwec.c under the educator section. It has the outline for this activity. What you'd find when you get to the website is activity sheets. Um, this one has a, a diagram of the water cycle. You can also get other images off the internet of water cycles. Or another option would be for you to take some time with your child and actually draw the water cycle. Um, that's part of the experiment, is to understand um, the water cycle and how water flows through it. Part of the outline is all the information that you'll need to be the leader of the activity. It gives you all of the answers to the questions and it leads you through the explanations of everything. This is a really simple science experiment for grade twos to learn about solids, liquids, and gas coming out of our kettle. The activity sheets um, that are in there have questions that the children can go through and answer. And like I said, you have all of the answers to the questions. So this experiment, solids, liquids, and gases, is to gain a better understanding of solids, liquids, and gases. It's a simple science experiment that you're going to do some investigation. So notes of observation. So having a look, um, this glass, we filled it with water yesterday, put it in the fridge, and what's happened to it? It's frozen, that's right. We have a glass here of water, liquid water. So we have our solid water, our liquid water. We're going to pour our liquid water into our kettle, turn it on, and we'll wait to see what happens with that. The other glass that you will have is filled with ice cubes. The ice cubes you want to observe. What do they look like? What shape are they? How big are they? And that right now, when we start out in the day, after taking them out of the freezer, they are solid chunks of blocks of ice. So they are in a solid form. And as the day goes on, leave that on the counter and have a look and see what happens to it. So that's our simple science kitchen about solids, liquids, and gases that you too can do right home in your own kitchen. Have fun with it.